It's Mont Day, which means shoe day. Mont Day doesn't always mean shoe day. Today, I'm gonna to talk about my latest pickup, a Y3 shoe. Yoji Yamamoto is one of my favorite designers, especially when he collaborates with Adidas. And I have multiple pairs of the Y3 shoes, especially when they have boost on them. But before I get into the review of this shoe, I wanted to admit something to you guys. You know how they say, never buy resale? The fact of the matter is, yes, I buy resale. Sometimes you have to. I don't got a plug. I don't have multiple plugs. I don't have bots. I basically just have these fingers. Sometimes I get lucky. Most of the time I do not. As you kids say, I take the L's. One night as I was lying in bed, when I usually do my shopping, I was going through the GOAT app and I came across what I think is a pretty good deal for this shoe. And this deal is still going on. Is it a deal if it's still going on? I'm not sure. The Saiku retails for 420 US American Donald Ducks. Not a cheap shoe. Y3s are not inexpensive. They're one of the more expensive Adidas shoes. But I bought my shoes, size eight and a half, for $240. That is almost $200 off of the original price. You can go to airgoat.com right now and find these shoes for about that same price. Maybe a little bit more, depending on the size of your shoe. But nevertheless, you're not paying retail. And no, this is not an ad. I'm just letting you know that if you like Y3 and they're too expensive for you, go look now. With that out of the way, let's talk about the shoes. As I mentioned before, I ordered a size eight and a half. And if you watch my videos, you know that I wear a size nine. However, in all Y3s, they tend to run big. So I order an eight and a half in American. I feel pretty confident in saying when you buy Y3, go half size down, but maybe you don't like doing that. It's just the advice I follow the advice I would give if someone asked me. It's your standard awesome black Y3 Yoji Yamamoto box with the orange Y3 on it and in black embossed lettering, Adidas line Yoji Yamamoto. When you open up your box, you will find that you have been gifted, probably given, I mean, it's not a gift, you paid for it, two Y3 dust bags. If you're like me and you travel a lot and you like to take your shoes, these dust bags come in handy. Also comes with a fancy black info card, as well as a pack of extra laces, which are actually the same type of laces. They're just extra white laces in case you lose them. As I mentioned, I'm a huge fan of the Yoji Yamamoto and Adidas collabs, and this is no different. I love this white shoe. I think it's awesome. Yes, I know it's white and black with a hint of like bone, but ah, uh, it is a hot looking shoe. Some people don't like the signature patch or the signature info that's on the mesh. And truth be told, I didn't like it much at first. Maybe that's why I bought the Kusari before I bought the Saiku. However, I like a shoe that pops. And I like when it does something different and unexpected, and it is a little different. How many people put a giant signature and giant lettering and stuff on their shoes? Some people do, some people don't. I dig it, I think it's great. So F the haters, right? I'm also very fond of the patchwork that is on the shoe. You have the primate upper, but then you have that meshy part underneath it, and then you have, like I mentioned, that bone suede mud guard, and not to mention that thick, two or three C's, three stripes, three C's, thick black three stripes on the tongue. Starting with the outsole, it's a black Y3 rubber outsole. Doesn't say continental, because it doesn't appear to be, and it has the web honeycomb thatch layout where you can see the boost underneath. Speaking of the boost, it's a boost midsole. It's not quite ultra boost, and it's definitely not like an NMD. I'd say it's kind of like an ultra boost minus or a pure boost plus. It sits on top of that black rubber outsole and on top of the boost sits black rubber shaped like shark teeth or like waves or like a mountain top. I don't know. It's aesthetically pleasing. I dig it. It feels like it's kind of the same material as the EVA plugs on the NMD. It may not be, but to me, that's what it seems like. This signature patch has a Yoji Yamamoto signature and then you can see the brand with three stripes and then in German and then in French and then it has Y3. It is on this sort of meshy under layer, which is underneath the prime net. It continues into the medial side of the shoe as well as the lateral side of the shoe, connected as well to the tongue and to the back heel tab area. The laces are thin white rope-ish laces, though they're not completely round, so we'll call them pseudo rope laces. And you can see that the lace holders are actually part of the aesthetic, as you can see them peek out below on the lateral medial side of the shoe, in between the prime knit upper and that meshy layer we spoke about earlier. As I mentioned before, the thick with three C's, three black stripes on the tongue kind of sticks out from the mesh layer underneath it. Located on the lateral side of both shoes near the toe box, you will find synthetic suede that functions as the mud guard. As I mentioned, it's kind of a bone color. And covering the majority of the shoe is the white prime knit upper, 
which has a slightly different pattern on the medial side of the shoe near where your big toe would be, complementing the synthetic bone suede mudguard on the lateral side of the shoe. As I said earlier, though I wear a size nine in most Adidas shoes, I wear a size eight and a half in Y3, and this is no different. It feels great, it feels comfortable, no complaints. So that's why I say go down half a size. I really like this shoe. I think it's cool, I think it's sporty, I think it makes a statement, not a huge statement, but enough of a statement like, excuse me, sir, what are those? So what do you say we put these shoes on, put some sexy music on, and check them out on feet. So what do you think about these Y3 shoes? Do you like Y3s? I think they're a little bit overpriced, so I'm glad I found them for resale. I did pay retail for the Kusaris, but it's nice to have saved some money on this pair. As of this taping, we have crossed 275 subscribers. That's a lot to me. I appreciate every one of you that keeps commenting and really appreciate those of you that are reaching out and offering help to better the channel and better the videos. I obviously want to improve and I can't do it unless I know what you guys need to see more of, need to see less of. So keep the comments coming. Really, I really appreciate it, positive and or negative. If you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, maybe pop one of them thumbs up. And if you really like what I'm pumping out, maybe click that red box that says subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you are at all interested in my private life, my music life, how I make money, visit my other channel, Daniel Monthway Jr. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.